in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed it would demand saying, I, I didn't know better than I know now. Now I know better. Whatever it will take to restore the unity structure. There are many prayers you will not pray. Unity will pray the prayer for you. Are we together? That means... The primary assignment of every leader in word of life is not just to display skill, worship team, protocol, always be sensitive to the unity structure. The moment you see something happening, forget about what the physical case is. It's an attack from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And can I tell you, you were fortunate and blessed to have your father and prophet one time the head of the entire Christian. You now understand the prophetic implication? All in one man to bind the body of Christ in unity. Now you know better. You know what God was doing. There has to be some noble fathers today that will go home and call their wives and say, you know what? We are not two political parties. The devil is a liar. We are tired of failing in spite of our personal prayers. You can't lock yourself in the room praying and fasting and shouting there. No, let's come together in one accord. Hold on. Please listen, listen. Give me acts. Let's continue. The next thing that will happen is my prophecy for you. The moment there was one accord, the next thing that happened suddenly, ah, suddenly, always follows unity. Suddenly, a job comes. Suddenly, the pregnancy comes. Suddenly, a new mantle comes upon the man of God. Not just because you prayed and fasted alone. You attained a state where God had commanded the blessing, even life. Life means whatever it will take for you to succeed. He said, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that ye may have life. And he says to have it more abundantly. Let's finish the scripture. Suddenly, and suddenly there came, there came a sound from heaven a sound as from of heaven, a rushing mighty wind as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where and, they it, were and it filled all the house and there appeared unto them uh -huh. cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them stop the key word in this scripture is not the cloven tongues is each of them who did not benefit from the unity nobody it sat upon each of them that means in a state of unity when the blessing comes there is nobody who will say i was just a spectator it's such on each so when the financial miracle comes it sits on each of them when the breakthrough comes it sits man of god for you and your leaders when the anointing comes it sits the bible says it sat on each of them It sat on each of them. There were times in the Bible where people were together but were not united. For instance, 
in the pool called Bethesda. The Bible says there laid many important folks, not only one person. They were together, but everybody was for himself. And there was a man as a result who remained there for 38 years because there was no unity. Only one person could be blessed. There were 10 lepers who sat together, everybody for himself. But when they were in one accord, the men in this assembly, I stand on the grace of our Father to charge you, there is more that you can do. Can I tell you, individually you may show expertise, but together you will produce results. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine uh -huh. and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every one soul. Uh -huh. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together. Hold on. This was a secret that they remained steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the early church, in fellowship, in prayer, and in breaking of bread. Are we together now? And the Bible says many wonders. Life, there the Lord had commanded the blessing. And what is that blessing? Sufficiency. Whatever must be available for you to succeed. And it says, and all that believed were together. That was a secret. And had all things in common. Next verse. And sold their possessions uh -huh. and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. As every man has need. Let's read the last verse. It says, and they, praising God and having favor. No, 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 no. Go back to 46, please. And they continuing daily with accord in the temple, in the temple and breaking, breaking bread, bread from, from house, house to house, house did eat their, their meat with, with gladness and singleness, singleness of hearts finally praising and, god and having favor with all the people what was the result and the lord added to stop, the church stop stop it does not matter where the addition came the key word is and the lord added to your business and the lord added to your children and the Lord. To the mantle on your life and the Lord. We are going to pray. No man can come into a strong man's house. What made the man strong? Not muscles. Unity. Jesus said, a kingdom divided against itself shall not stand. So what makes the man strong is unity. A stronger than he means a more united than he. When he comes, he can set division. And that weakness goes. Let me tell you one of the reasons why God is powerful is because of the honor to the Trinity structure of the triune nature. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The one word one does not mean singular. It means unity. Even Jesus was praying in John chapter 17. When you read from verse 1, the Bible says, He lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee. When you read verse 3 now or so, he says, and this is life eternal that they may know thee, the only true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent. And then he now began to speak about unity. He says that they may be one. Even as we are one. That means they, that they discover the hidden power that is resident in being one. Unity does not mean uniformity. Unity means for one purpose. The son was secured enough to acknowledge the authority of the father. When Jesus walked upon the earth, he never called himself father. Not once. 
he called the spirit of God father Abba he called father God father and he was satisfied being the son yet the Bible says they were one so unity does not mean the same position unity does not mean sharing the same rank it means coordinating your strength no matter how small or great to insist that you achieve the same thing are we together please stand everybody we're about to pray if you can hold hands together hold hands together please Lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love be increased. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. The walls of pride and prejudice shall see. points prayer point number one is for everyone but particularly for our men father everything that has made the men weak through this unity let there be a restoration of that state go ahead and pray go ahead and pray there is a reason why i said hold hands word of life every business mm -hmm. Every family, someone is praying. Let every ministry connected to this grace, family connected to this altar, business. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now you understand Psalm 133. It says, In that state of unity, the Lord had commanded the blessing, even life now you are ready to declare life you know what life is for some of you the life you need is finances for some of you the life you need is strengthening of your body when i saw our father i stood and true confession i was already praying for myself and said lord the grace you have placed upon this man that at this age and at this point i'm sure that if we run many young people he will run greater than you don't you ever think this one is more than vitamins and minerals there is a mysterious ah come on please word of life are we together hear me for some of you the life you need is the wisdom to produce results for some of you the life you need is strategic relationships i don't know what represents life but now you will release your hands and you will clap your hand from the depth of your heart and cry lord release life to my finances to my destiny go ahead and pray 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 Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For someone here, you are saying, Apostle, you may not know the kind of darkness that has surrounded my life. 
I have good news for you. The Bible says, God who commanded light out of darkness, not into darkness. God can use darkness as a raw material and bring light out of it. Now, please, let me seek permission from our father and our mother, if they will permit. I want to plead with you. Tomorrow night when you are coming at the permission of our father, please, I want you to come with a prayer request. Write everything that must leave your destiny. Every long-standing issue that has frustrated the grace of God and that expectation you have cried for, I want you to bring it. If it is true that in unity the blessing can be commanded, I want to share with you a few things tomorrow, hopefully, and as God grants grace, we'll have time to minister to people. Please let me plead with you in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Every man of God you know and every man, businessman, captain of industry, all roads lead to word of life. If there is no space, sit on the fence, sit outside. And for your family members in diaspora, I believe that they can connect by way of internet or television. Let us allow God to give us a visitation that befits this sacrifice. Are we in agreement? May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon your life. I stand in agreement with every prophetic decree that has come upon our Father. In the name of Jesus, let this be the season of manifestation. Go from glory to glory. Some of you, between now and tomorrow, you will return with wonders and testimonies. For in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Man of God. You talked about someone with a court case. This great man here is facing a court case. Wow. Now, since our father has come with this man here, I'm not going to ask him to just come and stand. How many of you believe in the Lord Jesus and believe in the ministry of this great man? I want you right where you are in one minute, I'd like you to pray and say lord for the sake of the gospel we establish victory Amen. in one minute go ahead in the name of jesus we establish victory we establish victory let there be victory we establish victory we declare victory in the name of jesus father i stand upon the grace of our father and lord we speak over this great man of god doing mighty things for you father for the sake of your name defend your name over his life amen in the name of jesus and we declare he said thanks be to god who causes us always to triumph we decree and declare for you sir it will be victory in the name of jesus and the church of the Lord Jesus said, Amen. Hey, God man. bless you, word of life. Thank you. Go ahead, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Listen, listen to me. What the Spirit of God began here this night we must seal it with an offering. Listen to me. Don't give the way you will give normally. This is an unusual service. Wherever you are, watching from around the world, I want you to take something. I want you to take an exceptional offering. 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. Take something exceptional wherever you are i bless what is in your hand in the name of god the father god the son god the holy god let your amen be stronger than your neighbor wherever you are wanting to drop it i want you to drop it i want you to drop it and just be dancing and rejoicing we are not done yet stay with me stay with me jesus now you be go
got the glory. Clap your hands, clap your hands. You may be seated very briefly. You see, people make sacrifices to do things. This man has been at the airport in Abuja since morning trying to get a flight to get here. So, how many hours have you been here that you must be in a hurry to go home? He didn't even go to the hotel. I told him, I said, come straight here. And straight from the airport, while they were still trying to get his luggage, I said, keep coming. Sometimes I wonder God walks in our way. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.